Hey, it's Joe Amar, founder and creator of GPSForLove.com. Got a question for you. Do you tend to worry too much? Is there something that you're always focusing on? And if you had to be honest, you're always focusing on the worst case scenario. You know, in your love, you're always focusing on why it's not working or why you may never meet the one or why it's not in the cards for you or why it's too difficult or why it's too hard. Or you're never going to find someone. You're going to wind up alone. You're going to have to buy cats. You know, all this stuff. Is that constantly going through your head? Well, if so, I want you to take a deep breath because I want to welcome you to the world of being human. What you're experiencing is very common and is very normal. The key is to understand is it's creating a lot of stress for you and it's doing absolutely no good. Now, what you what I want you to get out of this video is to understand is there's a reason why you're worried. Okay, When we worry, it's because we're put into a state of uncertainty. And most of us human beings, we like certainty. We like control. We like to know things are going to be okay. We like to know things are going to work out. And if you look back over your life, you're going to see that there were plenty of those times where you've been in uncertainty in your life. Maybe it was, you know, your first day of going to college. And maybe it was your first day at a new job. Maybe it was after you walked out on a relationship, you ended a marriage, whatever it may. It put you into a period of uncertainty. But ultimately, what you realize is that you learned, you grew, and things ultimately work themselves out, as they always, always, always do. But what I found is that when you continue to focus on what may happen, you continue to perseverate over what's wrong or why it's not going to happen, you not only live in that state of anxiety, stress, and even depression, it's very difficult to get out of it. It's, you know, as the old expression, it's hard to see the forest through the trees. So I want to give you something today that, that's going to help you. And so if there's something that you're, that you're worried about, that you're stressed about, that you're focused on, and you, and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, and you can't even imagine that there's a light of, at the end of the tunnel, what you got to do is you got to just face what you're worrying about head on. Instead of running from it, instead of resisting it, you know, simply meet it head on and look at it and ask yourself this one question. What's the worst thing that can happen? And am I going to die? You see, if you're not going to die, then you'll be okay and you'll learn to figure a way out of it. Then it's simply a matter of going, how do I do that? And here's a quick and easy way. Find somebody who's already succeeded at it, who's already overcome that obstacle, who's already learned how to overcome the stress, the worry, the challenges, and see what they had to do. See, the beauty is no matter what you're worried about, no matter what you're stressed about, there's somebody else who's already succeeded at it, who's already accomplished it, who's already achieved it. And so if you want to get better, you want to succeed you simply say okay well what did they do because if they did it then i can do the same thing see the, the reality is for most of us humans we think we're so alone we think we're so unique we think we're the only ones who goes through our stuff and the reality is it's so common that everybody goes through it you know, it's one of the reasons why i try to create these videos is because you're not the only one struggling with worry you're not the only one staying up at night thinking about you're never going to find somebody but the more you focus on that, the more difficult your journey is going to be. So what I want you today is take a little time, some mirror time, and really ask yourself, what is it that you're worried about? And just meet it head on. And then ask yourself, what's the worst thing can happen? And then look at that. Ask yourself, am I going to die? No? Cool. Now what do I need to do? Now at that point, you would go, I don't know. I'm stuck. I'm struggling. And you you don't know where to go or what to do, and that's okay. So what I want you to do is to put your comments and your questions in the blog below, because that's what the GPS for Love community is all about. We're here to contribute to each other's life, to share, and to assist each other on the journey so that you can create the results that you really love, which is an awesome rocking relationship with a guy who honors you, who respects you, and who lights up your world in and out of the bedroom, because that's what it's all about. As always, it's an honor and privilege to be with you, I'd love to hear you know, any questions, any comments you may have, and we'll see you next time. Much love.